Hey guys, kicking it off with the first video this year, I will review this new mouse that I got, the Red Dragon Storm Rage M718. The Storm Rage is an affordable 10,000 DPI RGB gaming mouse, but before diving into the detailed stuff, let's take a look at what's included in the box. Inside the box is the mouse of course, a manual, and a disc that contains the software for this mouse, which I'll discuss later in the video. The Storm Rage is a $19 mouse as I've seen on Amazon in the making of this video. However, nabili ko tong sakin for about 850 pesos on Data Blitz here in the Philippines. I was actually looking for a cheaper mouse to replace my now retired Steel Series Rival 100. I really like that mouse, especially for its shape. So now let's take a closer look if it does compare well. As you can see from the appearance and shape, it really does look like the Rival 100. Might even be the Rival 300 because it is a bit taller. There is the Red Dragon logo where you can see the lights passing through really well. Same as the Rival series, the top is also coated with a matte material for better grip. Though my experience with this kind of material is not that good because it has the tendency to tear from the base, especially if your palm sweats a lot. What I like here on the side is the rubber grips on both sides of the mouse. The design looks nice too. The left and right clicks are nice, a bit heavy, but doesn't feel cheap at all. Even the scroll wheel feels nice, you can clearly tell the scroll steps, but it's also smooth and quiet. The side buttons are okay, I just wish they moved the back button just a little bit to the front because I do have to move my thumb a bit to the back to reach it. The front button has a textured surface for easy distinction I guess, but the clicks does feel soft. A bit flimsy feeling but not too much. Looking at the bottom of the mouse is some info about the mouse and next to it is the mode switch button, which switches to a battlegrounds gaming mode apparently which has recoil anticipation function and stuff not that I have a need for it. Now the two buttons on the top is for cycling through the different DPI settings. The color changes based on which setting you're in, which is all customizable in the software. Even the buttons by the way are programmable, which I'll show you later. The cable is just a black braided one. My problem with it is it's a bit heavy and the cable itself is stiff so it's hard to mold its shape. This mouse really sports a good shape due to its contoured ambidextrous ergonomic design, which feels really well on the hands, however this mouse is a bit heavy. The mouse weighs 5.08 ounces or roughly 144 grams. Compared to my previous mouse which is about 90 grams, this did take me quite some time to get used to, especially in games like Dota which I tend to lift the mouse a lot and fast. However, on FPS games, it felt really good because of the stability the extra weight offered. The sensor on this is also really good. Didn't feel like anything changed in terms of sensor feel. Flicking and tracking still feels like what it would be like for a more expensive product. Watch some of my gameplay here for a bit, but keep in mind that I'm still not used to the mouse at this point. <coughs> Now moving on to the software. For a mouse of this price, I did not expect a particularly majestic software to go with it. But when I saw it, eh, I was amazed. I mean, look at the interface. Very intuitive and it looks good. Some texts may overlap here and there, but come on. That said, Red Dragon really went out of the way on the software. I mean, you can even customize the software background and choose from different pictures, or if you don't want that, solid colors. Okay, so now looking at the features from top to bottom, we see here from the upper left is the profile selector, and beside it is the options for adding, removing, copying profiles, etc. And below it, first, the lighting. You can choose from 5 effects, wave, spectrum cycling, 
breathing, static, and tide. And by the right side of the window, you can change its color if you only want one, or click the mix color for RGB. You can also change the brightness and the speed of the effect and the direction it's going to. Here is a short preview of those effects in action. Okay, now moving on to the Customize tab. Here you can change the action of a certain button if you want it. Like right here, my DPI switches I turned into basically media keys. But there's so much more to choose from. For the DPI Set tab, here you can specify the DPI per level and you get a total of 6 levels. And on the right side, you can also change the polling rate from 125Hz all the way to 1000 and on the bottom, you can still change the pointer speed and even the scrolling speed here. And in here, of course, you can assign macros, which I never really used nor understood, but it's nice to have it as a feature. Lastly is the machinist, which may be a feature for assisting you in recoil, I think. It wasn't explained in the manual, but I think here is where the mode switch button is for. And below that is, of course, you can change the name of the profile and save it and below that is so you can open a setup file for the software for presets okay time for the pros and cons for the pros you get a good sensor a good software good rgb lighting good mouse shape and it's really affordable for the cons though i'd say the mouse is pretty heavy though you can get used to it Next is the heavy and stiff cable, which can get pretty annoying when the cable hits something while you're aiming. And lastly is the matte coating, which is not much of a con. To conclude, this mouse is a very good value for the money. You get all the features that a more expensive gaming mouse has, and the quality can be on par with it as well. With that said, durability is always a big question for cheap products like this, but so far, I've been using it for more than a week now. The mouse feels great and getting all this, plus the software for $19, I really can't complain. Please leave a comment below what you think about this mouse or this review and leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more of my gaming related content. This is Big Boss from MGC. See you in the next one.